Some of my players are still having challenges with being ready at release. Do you have any suggestions for how to help them out? Do you have a pitching machine? Do you have a pitching machine with a ball feeder? Um, I'll post the drill when I'm done here that I use all the time. When I get a new student, we go through all the normal drills and some flips and, and then the machine, and I'm, I'm just dying waiting to get to this, what I call my two ball drill, which is my fastball change up drill out of the machine. And if you're not ready at release, you're gonna suck at that drill. And once they understand how to be ready at release, and how to control that readiness, then they, it takes them a little while, but then it doesn't matter which ball comes out of the machine, they're so instant, they're so sudden, that they can hit the fastball and then they can just wait a tick and hit the other ball. When we face a changeup in a game, when we're expecting fastball and get a changeup, it feels like it takes forever for that changeup to get to us and we end up lunging. We've all done it. In reality, that time difference is not very much. It's a maybe a 30th of a second. I don't know off the top of my head. Obviously it's different from one pitcher to the other. But knowing what I know about video, in a 30 frame per second video, if I want to hit it here, but the ball isn't there yet and I have to go like that, that's 1 30th of a frame, or 1 30th of a second. One more frame is 1 30th of a second. And that seems like forever that the ball wasn't there yet. So, ready at release means you actually swing at release. If they're not ready at release in a game, I'm going to question whether you've ever had them actually swing at release. The only way you can know that they understand what ready at release means is if they're actually swinging at release. When you swing at release, obviously you were ready to do it. And you're going to miss the ball. You're going to be swinging way too early. Okay? But what you've done when you're ready at release is you've got all your loading done so that now you just swing. So many kids will not load, will not finish their load until they see the ball. And that is way late. Your load needs to be done before you see the ball. And by done, I mean sufficient. You may still be loading a little bit as it's in flight, but you're sufficiently loaded at release so that you could swing at release. So what I do is turn the machine on, I demonstrate it, and I say, look, you feel stupid. All your life when you've hit off a machine or in game is to hit the ball. Well, I'm asking you to now swing and don't worry about the ball. I'm asking you to time the release point. Okay, so with my feeder, the ball falls from the feeder, rolls down the track and then shoots out of the machine. When the ball falls from the feeder to the track, they need to start their load so that they can swing the moment the ball falls into the wheels swing and then the ball will come by. Okay? You physically have to force them to do it. I can't tell you how many kids the first time I demonstrate swing at release I take two or three maybe four swings and say look what I'm doing. I'm completely missing the ball. I'm just timing the roll of the ball down the track so that when it falls into the machine I'm swinging which should be just something really easy to do. I can't tell you how many times after I've demonstrated it and they take their first attempt, they crush the ball. In other words, it worked, but it didn't. They didn't really do the drill right, but they did get their load done in time so that they could hit the ball when it got there. That's exactly why it works, okay? Because your load is done so much earlier, you can wait for the ball and swing. Just so you understand, I demonstrated them to swing at release. And they think they're gonna swing at release, but they crushed the ball. That meant that they got their load done enough, early enough, that they could hit. Didn't do the drill right. So even though they do that, I said, no, that was good, but I want you to do the drill right. So then we do the drill until they do it right. And you've gotta insist that they do it right. Not almost right, right, perfect. Swing the moment the ball comes out of the, the machine. Swing at the poof sound. When the ball comes out of the machine, there's this sound, poof. You wanna be poof, you wanna hit right at the poof, okay?